Hello and welcome to round one with elves this week. Uh, we have basically an unkeepable hand. And by basically, I mean super unkeepable. Uh, another super unkeepable hand. There are lands in my deck, right? Okay. I understand the risk of playing 18, but I think any of those previous hands was good enough. Yeah, this is not gonna pan out super well, I have a feeling. Oh, yeah. No, none of this is gonna work well. Ooh. Okay, that might work okay. Okay. I have, like, kind of a plan. I guess I should have attacked there for two damage. That was a mistake. Uh, though, I don't... Eh, I do want to trade. So I can cord to Heritage. If I draw a land, Heritage to Archdruid. Do I even want to use the cord there for that? This is an Endbringer. I'm in big trouble. Oh, I can beat that. Two turns to Ulamog? Sure. Oh, no. One. Forgot about the Conduit's actual ability. I think I just have to take that five. In theory one, I guess. My opponent probably doesn't have a third temple. What am I courting for if it's not heritage? Six mana. I think I want to court for heritage here. Um, and the reason for that is, I think that I don't have enough mana to actually do anything relevant next turn unless I get the Heritage, so I need to hope to draw into another action card and go around in Ulamog. Okay, so we're playing against Trondrazi. Yeah, sure, whatever. I would take that hit easily. Okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. So, let's get some business going. So, three... I think I want a messenger first. That is not the card I wanted to hit. So I need to make five to keep going. Uh Messenger again, maybe, first? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I like that. So I can leave up the company for Ulamog. I have mana floating. So... I'm not going to die next turn. Just using the nettle to uh, maximize mana here. I can't kill with an Azuri, so there's no point in companying yet. I shouldn't have tapped Cavern, though. Uh, that was a mistake, because I, I was thinking, like, leave up the mana that can actually cast my spells, but the card I want to draw is uh, Shaman of the Pack, so I should have not tapped that. Uh, 
Oh, is this the what do I exile? So we're exiling Nettle Sentinel and that. So do that in response, I guess. Yeah, because if I hit two shamans, my opponent dies. Shaman Azuri is probably enough. Well, Azuri's not getting into combat, so I guess there's no reason to not just... I don't... Yeah, whatever. If my opponent... Okay, so I... Cool. That was easy. <laughs> I was thinking about silly things like if my opponent attacks, but I actually just want them to attack in that spot. So, uh, against Tron Eldrazi, I don't think that card is very good. I don't even know what I want against Tron Eldrazi, honestly. Um... If I'm going to court, I probably should have a Revoker in my sideboard. We'll add that to the list of things for improvements. Uh, the other... Well, I'll talk about that as it comes relevant. I guess I would want a Thoughts... Eh, no. I think I just want my deck to be as linear as possible. Maybe a Rex Sage for Chalice. Just, like, shave a Visionary, because that card's not doing a lot of business. <sighs> So far, like, medium reviews on this card. Uh, it's kind of expensive, but it's powerful and significantly riskier than Company. Don't want Worship because my opponent's mono Ulamogs. Don't want... That doesn't stop Causal X Return. I don't think I'm supposed to cut a 1-drop even in the face of Chalice. Nope. That was a mold of four, wasn't it? Uh... Second land probably important, <laughs> like, a, like a little bit. Please, no gut shot. Pretty please? That didn't look like a gut shot. Though my opponent is not obligated at all to gut shot on uh, their turn. I don't think I can block there. Card is shockingly worse than you'd think against my deck. As you'll notice, my mana costs are 1, 2, 3, 4. Um... Costing myself a damage is bad. Just going to cast the Visionary. I like saving the Shaman for a higher impact later turn. Yeah, just get in there for one with that. Smash. Maybe I was supposed to trade here last turn, but I didn't think my hand panned out well if I did. Maybe that's wrong, because I get the Visionary. Uh, I can gain 5 in the face of Smasher. That seems pretty important. My opponent letting me untap's a little bizarre. I feel like keeping me off of my fourth man is pretty important. 
uh, just because of how important 4 mana is in this deck in general. So what's my goal next turn? Can I put enough into play to stop that? This does not look good for me. My opponent has lots of power. Maybe I was supposed to trade here? And just like, potentially stump myself off 4 mana forever? Okay. This is just egregious. Let's see. Chump there. Yeah. Uh. That's one of the ways I don't necessarily die a horrible death. I mean, I probably do. I'm trying to think of what circumstances I don't. Okay, that's enough for me to concede. Because I can only put two blockers into play. I was thinking I could block both of the... Oh, no, I just die anyways. Yeah, just mono death there. so easy for my opponent to trump that stuff. This would have been good last game, but... Yep. Not close. This hand's good. I'm trying to be, like, reasonably conservative with my life total here. Uh... The Eldrazi deck, it does a lot of damage very fast, but it's not like Affinity where you just like, with Affinity, like, conserving your life total is kind of important, but like, realistically, sometimes it, like, when you die, like, sometimes it's Xaxxes, but like, usually those are the infect kills, and a lot of the time you're taking like, 10,000 damage off of Cradial Plating, whereas the Eldrazi deck, you can actually like, whittle your way to specific life totals uh, that, like, the two damage matters a lot more. Also because chump blocking matters a lot more in the matchup. Live, live, no dismember, please? <sighs> okay. That's a waste on top of an Urza land, so presumably my opponent... Okay. That's shockingly quite bad against my hand. So, let's see. How do I tap for this? I don't think I'm shamaning this turn. I'm definitely playing Elite. Then I tap Arcdruid to play Messenger. And then I can't play a 1-drop, so I attack for 2. Put a decent amount of power. 18. Uh, yeah, this is actually lethal next turn if I draw land. So let's hide the bricks on the left side of my hand. Do I even need to draw land? So I can... 1, 2, 3, play Shaman, 6, Cord for Shaman, and attack with these. So I have lethal anyways. Yeah, Chalice it seems quite overrated against the Elf deck. I 
This is exact lethal, right? Perfect. Oh, trample too. How lucky. Get to deal exact plus one. Well, that wasn't, uh, we were keeping up with Eldrazi, but it didn't feel like I was devastatingly better than them. Um, they do have a very small window to close in, though, and I think they are almost aware of Reality Smasher. Though, again, that may be this specific build, which seemed pretty non-interactive. This card did not, not impress me at all.